Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Yuri Prohaska versus Alexander Rakic. Yuri Prohaska, 29 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw, 4 and 1 in his last 5 fights. Coming off of the loss, of course, to Alex Pereira. Very short, um, uh, very short early stoppage is what I meant. Plus 110, basically a pick 'em. 31 years old, 6'3 with an 80 inch reach. Fighting Alexander Rakic, who's 14 and 3, 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights. The one loss four years ago was a Volka and Uzdemir split decision. I'm pretty sure I thought Rakic won that. Uh, beat Anthony Smith by decision. Thiago Santos by decision. Boring. And then uh, lost to Jan Blakovic, which Jan got a title shot off that. Made no sense to me. Minus 130 favorite. 32 years old. 6'4 with a 78 inch reach. One inch. Er, yeah, one inch in height and two inch reach. For a Prohaska. Rackage to me just isn't good. He has decent striking. His kicks are way overhyped because he knocked out Jimmy Manuel, who's not great as, as it is either. We see when he fights, like, even Uzdemir, he had issues. You know, Anthony Smith, what did he do? Not a whole lot. He, same in the Tiago Santos. Not a whole lot. The boring fights. Yuri Prohaska is not going to make this fight boring. He's going to bring the fight right at Rackage. The question is, question, almost five months. Has he recovered from Pereira? Even if I think it's an early stoppage, he still was hurt and dropped. I don't, I don't know. But I like Yuri Prohaska. I think he overwhelms him. I think he's you know, chaotic. I think he's crazy. I think he gets in crazy scrambles in a weird position. And I think he submits Rackage probably in round two or late round three. He may even be down. Maybe. Maybe. But Rackage, you suck. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.